Up to now, we focus primarily on the medical side of your treatment, but we would like to talk a little bit about the emotional side as well. This is extremely important and we want to give you some little tips to help you through the difficult times ahead. Funnily enough, the NHS along with Macmillan have come to the conclusion that if we treat you as a whole person, which involves not just the medical side, but looking at the physical side and the emotional side as well, we're going to get a lot better response from you as you go through treatment. To this end, we may well ask you to fill out something that we call a holistic needs assessment. It's an A4 page and it has a lot of tick boxes on it. And the reasoning behind this is that it gives us a little bit of an insight as to the other areas of your life where you might need a little bit of help and guidance. The way it works is that we ask you to give things a rating. So zero or one if it's very low, through to 10 if it's scoring very highly and is something you're in quite desperate need of help with. Normally, we ask you to do an HNA at the beginning of your treatment and at the end, but you can do one at any point. You also don't have to wait to have a paper form to fill in. We're here on the phone and if at any time you want help or advice, please do call. How are you feeling at the moment? Chances are, that you're experiencing a huge range of emotions right now. There really is no right or wrong way about this and it's perfectly natural to go from feeling okay one minute to the depths of despair the next minute. And by the way, this applies equally to your friends and family who are supporting you through this tough time. If you have a look at our diagram, you can see that there is just emotions all over the place and you may well find that you pass through all of those in five minutes or possibly over a 24 hour period. It really is an emotional roller coaster. That's great if you like roller coasters, but most of us would not choose to be on this ride. You may even find you experience what I call tumbleweed moments. So you're fine one minute, but the next minute your mind has taken you to a worst case scenario six months down the line. What can be helpful under these circumstances is to practice something called mindfulness. We have got some exercises that we can share with you on this, but we, it's much easier to do those on a one-to-one -one basis. So we can talk you through those individually if you do want more details. Overall though, we'd say the key to all of this is to keep breathing. And I know that sounds really basic, but if you think of the times when you are all in a flurry and someone says to you, stop, take a deep breath and start again. The same applies in these circumstances. When you feel your anxiety and your stress levels mounting, it really does help if you can stop and focus yourself back on the here and now. And that's one of the things that mindfulness helps you to do. When you're going through all of this, it's really helpful sometimes to take a step back and say, if this was happening to one of my close friends, what would I do and what would I say? It's perfectly natural to feel a little down and depressed and have a low mood. However, if this low mood lasts longer for two weeks and that you feel it's getting worse rather than showing any signs of improvement, that's the time when you need to start to think about getting some help. We would recommend finding someone to talk to. Start by talking to your friends and family. Some people find that that's not very helpful. They find they're too close and that they're already burdening their friends and family with everything else. So it might help to go a little bit further afield. You can talk to us. We do have a counsellor here as part of the cancer team and you are entitled to up to six face-to-face -face sessions for you or your partner. Obviously these would be Zoom sessions at the moment. And there are other resources available as well. There's Steps to Wellbeing and that's a self-referral service. There's Mind Dorset, Help and Care and last but by no means least the Macmillan Advice Line.